In 2024, Mastercam has improved workflow in the Machine Group Setup panel by creating a visual indicator for fixture setup, adding new ways to specify stock, and consolidating simulation options to one place. For the part on screen in the Toolpath Manager, I'll bring up the Machine Group Setup panel by going to Properties and selecting Files. The overall layout of the panel has not changed, with six pages whose names are shown when I hover the icons but now I can immediately see an indicator showing a problem on the work holding page. So I'll click there to find out more. Going to the work holding page shows me there are currently no fixtures set up. So I'll click the checkbox next to fixtures, then select add from a level and choose level 100, Kurt Weiss. To finish, I'll click the green check and the indicator is gone. The next page with changes is Stock Setup. I'll click that icon, then I can see there are a few new options for selection. Add from two corners, create rectangular stock, and create cylindrical stock. Add from two corners allows me to draw a rectangle anywhere on screen. Then I can click and drag to create depth. In the Stock Setup page, I can adjust where the origin of the rectangle is anchored, as well as specify actual length, width, and height dimensions. While the Two Corners option allows me to create stock from any rectangle, Create Rectangular Stock is based upon geometry. When I click Create Rectangular Stock, I'm automatically prompted to select one or more entities. I'll select the part in the vise, then end selection. Mastercam takes into account the size of my part and automatically generates the minimum rectangle required to fit the entire selection, oriented in the current stock plane transformation setting. I can again adjust my anchor point and any dimensions on this screen. For cylindrical parts, I have a Create Cylindrical Stock option that has similar anchor and dimension parameters. My part is rectangular, so I'll collapse that option and continue to explore the new settings here that apply to all the stock options. The next new stock setup option is Push-Pull, which lets me click on any face of my stock and drag it. The incremental option drags the shape while displaying measurements referencing its original location, while the absolute option references the opposite face of the part to give me an overall measurement. There's also a slight difference in the stock plane transformation where I can still use the pull-down menu to select a plane, but I no longer have XYZ value fields. Finally, the simulation page has two changes, including the addition of a stock and fixtures, to the preview settings and a stock override section. Selecting the checkbox next to stock allows me to preview stock along with the toolpaths shown here. The stock override button overrides only the stock in the simulator. It does not affect functions in the machine simulation group. For this stock, I can choose to add it from a stock model, from a file, or from an on-screen selection. I'll click OK to exit the simulation menu and show one update in the Toolpath Manager. The Simulator Options icon in the Manager no longer opens a separate dialog box where I have to define stock and fixtures. The icon will now take me directly back to the simulation page in the Machine Group setup where I have already set these items. While this icon is essentially redundant, it can be a quick way to access your setup options.